we're in one of the many gardens in the Alhambra palace, fortress, citadel that the rulers created. And these gardens were restored after an, a, a long time, but they were restored based upon what they knew of what the Muslim and Christian rulers afterwards had designed of the gardens. They're aesthetically beautiful. They're pleasing to the eye. You feel very tranquil and warm and peaceful being here. And these gardens, in fact, are called gardens of Jannah, gardens of heaven, designed like that to remind people of heaven. In the previous gardens we've seen as we came, before we came here, we saw gardens under which there are rivers. And Allah reminds us, in fact, in, fact, in the Quran, that there are Jannat, Tajri min Tahta al Anhar, gardens under which rivers flow. We saw in the Al Khazar, we saw trees with oranges. And the, our tour guide was reminding us about the symbolism that it was like you're, you're within reach of the fruits. And the fruits are in the abundance for everyone, just like heaven is for everyone. But the point is this, of course, that heaven is not something that you can create and then seek to live in. It's something that you work for, to be in, to get there. And Allah reminds us in the Quran about work, about effort. Man will have what he made effort for, and in the end he will see the fruits of his effort and his labor. Allah in the Quran says, Faces that they will be gleaming and happy and, and, and resplendent because of the effort they used to make. And so therefore heaven, Jannah is created. Uh, Allah made Jannah for those who believe and do good works, even though ulama would speak about also the heaven in the heart.